Hey, what is up, guys? Addy Cards back, <laughs> bringing you guys some Madden 25 Ultimate Team. This is episode 36. Um, we are in season four. What a gameplays are going to be season four, week nine, and season four, week 10. And uh, we might have a pack opening at the end. All right, who am I bullshitting? <laughs> Title says 91 overall, uh, Elite Cameron Wake. And I do have a pack opening at the end. And I do end up pulling a Cameron Wake. And surprise, surprise, um, I think that's a pretty good pull, pretty decent pull. Um, right here, like I said, Season 4, Week 9. We do got to win the next two games to get a first round bye in the playoffs. And by now, I realize this man's got a pretty cute, strong, close scheme. 4th and 16, NFG about it. Wow, why did... Fuck it, man. User, pick ya, bitch. Give me that shit, bomb. Give me that ball right back. 4th and 16, punt the ball, damn it. I mean, damn. I mean, I, I don't understand if I had some sorry ass user throw at it, but shit, I, the user, user ain't that bad. <laughs> sorry. Uh, first play on offense, I do end up cribbing it with uh, Terrell Pryor. You know, get in the end zone, scramble in, and you know he gets the ball right back and starts firing away. Those two dots back to back, and he's at the, at my 29 with these. And the third dot is right to Jerry Hughes. Jerry on the spot comes up with the INT. And we get the ball back on O. And wowzers. Damn, dude. That dude needs to practice user skill ASAP. Two missed tackles. And I try to look my no hands. <laughs> threw it back. Well, I try to throw it back. But it wouldn't let me try to lateral it. And uh, sure enough, he, I don't know how he got so wide open. But that was my first street. Uh, you know, when you come out, you read the defense and... No, uh, accordingly you progress <laughs> and that was my first read and I went to it and again throws right at the user just keep throwing at Maze's neck and uh, right here he does end up you know finding the uh, I want to leave this game right now button <laughs> and you know see ya shit <laughs> he ends up leaving um, right here this is uh, well we do open the pack right here and I do get some pretty damn good cards um, Cam Newton, solid 48 contracts. Yes. <laughs> Ted Ginn, 95 speed. Great. Excellent. Cameron Wake, 91 um, left end. I think that's the elite version. Damn. Who's that? Hamburglar? Shit, we got head coach Hamburglar and uh, Jermichael Finley. So, a pretty solid pack. You know, better than the usual crap I got where I get four cards and. You know, one ends up being like a two overall and freaking injury card and contract extension. <laughs> so pretty solid pack. Well, for me at least. Um, right here, showing you guys my depth chart. Well, my lineup. And I do put in Cameron Wade. We're going to test him out when he sees the field at defensive tackle too. I don't want to play him at left end. I got Deion Jordan there. He's got like 90, I think. I want to say he's got like not. Actually, no, he's got like 80. Yeah. 85 speed. I don't know. I got to check. I'm pretty sure he's got somewhere around the 80, 85 speed. So Cameron Wake, he's going to play second D tackle. And let's get into the game. Play four season two, week 10. Um, come out. Bang on. Nah. <laughs> I do get a pretty decent kickoff return. And surprise, surprise. This man actually sends heat on the first play of the game. And I lose Terrell Pryor for the rest of the game. Oh, goodness, man. And yeah, that's going to totally suck. You know, I do got to get this W because if I do get I do get a first round bye into the playoffs and I start off with the divisional round. I, oh, my goodness. Both of y'all just roll to the sideline after that. A.J. Green hurdling both the DBs like it's nothing. It was a well, I want to say it was two DBs and I'm just going to shut up. Wow. How? How? Just. How? I mean, how does that end up happening? Oh, you know, it does get much better. Trust me. It wouldn't be Addy Card's video if, if shit did not happen back to back. 
And of course, I come out the end zone. I get annihilated. Double face palm. Face palm hand through head. And <laughs> I find myself trailing 14 to 7. Oh, man. I don't even want to play anymore. This is ridiculous, dude. Like, how in the mighty hell does freaking refrigerator pick up the ball? From the 25, runs it back 75 yards. Mind you, this is an offensive tackle, and it's not like I got a freaking goal line package out. You know, I got some guys with speed. You know, Jerry Hughes completely misses the tackle, and then I cannot. I don't know, man. I do not know how that happened. That is crazy, though. You know, put yourself in my shoes. Probably be hella pissed. <laughs> Right there, Jimmy Graham. He had a 90 overall, Jimmy Graham. So, you know, he's going to do some damage. And right there, I know he doesn't see me, so you're going to give me that today. User, pick your bitch. Give me that shit. Boom. We get the INT with D'Angelo Hall. So, 14-14, I am on offense. And this is exactly why you cannot stay in the pocket. Not like last year. You know, last year, I had some nasty pocket presence. This year... You know, I got some solid pocket presence, but then again, you know, you know what's the point if if you got a good presence and you can't deliver a 10-yard pass without <laughs> without the ball bouncing off somebody's helmet, shoulder pads, or something like that? Always happens. Right there, I do end up taking some ankles, and then somebody ends up taking A.J. Green's chest. <laughs> you know, not an even trade. I don't want that trade. You know, A.J. come back. He does end up getting injured for the rest of the game, so right now I lost T.P., and AJ, but we got Jacoby Jones. Hopefully, he can come up big. 21 to 14. Two minute warning is about to approach. There's some good pocket presence again. And Tom Brady takes off for a good, I think, five yard gain. Um, hit the drag route, and I was hoping he would dive and miss the tackle, and sure enough, he didn't. That was just a horrible read right there. Definitely should not throw that. And uh, wow, what a dot! Fourth and nine. I do convert huge fourth down conversion because if I if I don't get that 14 to 21 he's got ball he can put up points before half and you know, if he does which he most likely is because the all the momentum will be on his side you know I go down two scores and not good you do not want to go down two scores against a really good team and this man had a really good team then you got a Sherman at uh, cornerback. Um, I don't know if it was a limited edition one. All I know is, I think it was like 91 overall, I want to say. Um, I don't know what kind of Sherman it was. It was one of those good ones. Um, <laughs> you know, I've seen, I think I've seen one or two Shermans before. And I think one was like an 83. And then there was, this guy's was like the highest that I've played against. And he had a pretty good one. Um, right there, I do... You know, got 47 ticks to get in. And right there, zone coverage. We hit up Mike Wallace. And we hit up Mike Wallace again. Keep staying in zone. I will dot you up. <laughs> and we do get in the red zone. I try to make something happen. And Darren McFadden cannot do anything. Seven seconds right at your neck. <laughs> Cracked helmet, son. Get the fuck off the field. <laughs> oh, man. Somebody just got banged on. <laughs> and sure enough. Now, he does not throw it up. I, I was expecting a Hail Mary. Instead, he takes out with Kaepernick, but we will give that up. You know, no chance of getting a Hail Mary. Coming at a half, 28-28. This dude is matching my scores. He's even at a lead, so he's pretty solid. His team is pretty badass, and he's okay. He's better than the guys who have usually played. You know, he's got 28 points at half. That should tell you. Uh, wow, third and 16. We do drop the INT. So he does end up going for it. If he gets this, I am done. I, uh, previous play, I did drop a pick. And Taylor Mays goes full R-tard. But we got Cody Sensabaugh saving him. Swats it out. And sure enough, I do end up scoring two plays later. So now, my friend, you are going to play some catch-up. 35-28. <laughs> oh, put that on the ground, Cap. Um, right there, takes out Kaepernick again, and now he's, he's starting to get uh, scramble happy, happy feet, trying to take off, and I'm just waiting for that one fumble, and there it is, Ray Lewis, sure enough, you know, destroys Cap, at, or was, I don't know, that was Ogletree, Ogletree is putting in some, damn, dude's pretty badass, 
He's been doing some work last last few episodes. He's been playing pretty good. And right there, Ray Lewis, sure enough. Fourth and 12. This is the game right here. Wow. Somehow does convert. Freaking four verts. I couldn't pick out the right guy. And sure enough, I went with the guy going for the 40-yard gain instead of, instead of the 15. And I thought the yellow zone, which was supposed to be in the middle, was going to play it. But I guess not. Again, he runs four verts, and this time I am on that shit. I got oh the other God. guy going deep, and look at this fuckery. Oh, my God, yo. Who is 18? Sidney Rice and Taylor Mays decides to go full retard after. <laughs> yes, that's how I feel right now. 35 all. This dude is living on a prayer right now. Crazy, man. But... You know, we are on offense. On offense, I, sh I can make things happen. That's for sure. On defense, you know, EA seems to be whoring me out the way a little bit. But if I keep scoring, he's going to continue. He's going to have to continue scoring, too. And right there, where are you going? Marshawn all the way. Get a 42 to 35 lead. We are one stop away. Sure enough, he goes to the corner. I got that bitch double covered, and we get the INT. And find your find the way to the fucking quit button right now, son. <laughs> And let's see, yeah, sure enough, he does end up finding his way to the quit button. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. This was episode 36. Um, if you did hit that thumbs up, comment, let me know what you thought. Until next time, I'm signing out, y'all. Salute.